Hey guys, what's up? Austin Barton here. So when you're trying to lose weight, don't you just want it to be done like right now, just this instant? You want to be able to just lose that weight in like a month or so and then by the end of that month, just be ripped and sexy and just ready to go. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you that this is not the way it happens. It does take a little time. The good news though, is that I can give you a tip that can help you progress through this unexpectedly long journey. Don't use a body weight scale to track your progress. This may sound weird, but just let me explain. Sometimes there are people out there that think that you need to be losing weight every day. Every time you step on the scale, the number needs to be lower. This is so, so, so far from the truth. If you're weighing yourself every day and you have this preconceived notion that you need to be losing weight every day and you don't lose weight every day, that's a really good recipe for losing any sort of motivation that you have. You may think to yourself, you know, did I eat too much? Am I not running enough? Am I not exercising enough? What did I do? And you don't need to worry. You're not doing anything wrong. Your weight is really dependent on a number of things. One of these is hydration. You know, if you're hydrated enough, you're gonna weigh more than if you're not hydrated. That's pretty obvious. Some days you might forget to drink enough water and then that will give you a misrepresentation of your weight. Like, oh, I lost seven pounds today. But you really didn't lose seven pounds, you're just a little dehydrated. Another one is glycogen levels. So glycogen is the storage form of glucose in your muscle and when you're well fed enough, you're going to have more glycogen in your system, obviously, and that weighs something. So when you're well fed, you're gonna weigh more. And another one is the time of day. So typically the time of day does have to do with how much water you've drank and also how much food you've eaten. These things seem really obvious, but they're also very variable, meaning that they change all the time. So what is the best way to track your progress? If you have to weigh yourself, if you just can't get past that, don't do it daily, do it weekly or monthly. That's, that's a lot more conducive to not getting stressed out about your weight. However, I believe that this is not the best way to track your progress. I believe that the best way to track your progress is a monthly photo and a monthly weigh-in. So I'll play a video right here of all my progress pictures in that first year that I lost about 45 pounds. Play it right here and you'll see how slow the progress actually is. So all I did was I weighed in once a month, I snapped a picture on the same day every month, the 18th of every month, I still remember it, and then I just kept going, I just kept staying to my caloric intake whatever it was, and then I would also stay on my exercise plan. I never stressed about the scale, I never stressed about my weight, and that's th that's a good mindset to have because it's really easy to get stressed, you know. I, like in the first month, I, I only lost about five pounds in the first month and I had a lot of weight to lose. So, you know, if, if, if I was weighing in every day, it'd be pretty discouraging. And what these photos are doing is it's helping you gauge your, your progress visually and it's helping you gauge your body composition visually as well. If you look like you're less fat, you're less fat. In conclusion, I want you to weigh yourself as little as possible. I want you to take pictures and I also want you to just look at yourself in the mirror and see if you can visually tell if there's changes in your body composition. Hopefully these things will get you away from that mindset of being discouraged about your weight and focused on what's important, which is your body composition. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you learned something and I will see you next time. Hey guys, quick, before you go, go ahead and go below and click that subscribe button and that like button. I would really, really appreciate that. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are all linked below as well. Last thing, I promise, I do have playlists on my channel as well, compiling all my videos that I've done. So please go check those out. Oh, you're watching them already? Okay, so I'll just leave you to that then. See ya.